What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. We got the homie Gregory Cheers. back here. Cheers. We're gonna be working on my car for once today and not his. I because I'm pulling the car. <laughs> yeah, go pull your car. We actually only have like one more thing to do on his car. Then we'll be officially done. Uh-huh. Which is wheels. But today we're working on my car. We're actually gonna be installing a new steering wheel. As you guys can tell, I got this steering wheel from Alibaba.com, which is where everyone gets their stuff from, right, Greg? Every company gets their stuff from Alibaba.com, so don't believe them. And resells it for and five resells times it. the price. Yep, I got this for really cheap. I won't tell you guys the price. I'm but... looking at you, Mashimaro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. I got the LED, the RPM gauge, and then right in the middle, it tells you like a bunch of other stuff. It's like a digital little screen right there. But yeah, flat bottom with all carbon fiber. And I got the leather on the side, the perforated leather instead of the Alcantara. Because the Alcantara was gonna take a while to come in. This only took a week to get here from China, which is really fast. And I also didn't want the Alcantara wearing out fast. So yeah, this is what we're gonna be installing today. I also got the red M1, M2 buttons and also the push start button right here to install as well. We got like a module for the LED steering wheel. We'll go ahead and show you guys what the digital screen shows like after we're all done installed because that shows a bunch of stuff like oil temp, like boost PSI, stuff like that. So here's a look at my old crappy steering wheel. It's all like wearing out and stuff. I couldn't wait to get rid of this damn thing. The new carbon one will match all the other carbon inside. Greg's working on taking off this battery terminal because we have to get that off before taking the airbag off. Greg's working on getting this little airbag out of here. You just gotta put a little flat head. There's a hole on the side. Push and then a spring should just pop the airbag out. He already got this one side out as you can tell. It's just like a tedious kind of process. Hopefully he messes something up and the airbag blows in his face. <laughs> That's that. And it's off. That's all it takes. Now we just have to transfer basically everything from here, besides these two buttons, onto the new steering wheel. And then there's some like wiring required to get like the LED working. So we just got everything off of the old wheel, which is sitting right here. We got this new, like, uh, the airbag holder right here and the, what's this called, Greg? This little vibration thing, yeah. vibration thingy. <laughs> so now we're working on changing the M1 and M2 buttons to these red ones right here. These are the old ones. So yeah, we're gonna change those out and then assemble the wheel back together. guys this is the finished product our little cute showcase woman over here <laughs> ah. for five easy payments of nine thousand dollars <laughs> you can have this steering wheel we went ahead and installed the new buttons so those look really good i don't know how i still feel about them but they look good now we just have to wire everything up this is kind of confusing but i think we'll get it you done. know what the red will go with the red leds when you're um Maxed out, out, yeah. <laughs> At eight, your red line, eighty five hundred yeah. RPM so red that line. That means you always have to red line so your interior. Matches. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Should I do these red too? Yeah. Or carbon fiber? No. Okay. Let's go put the button on real quick. Oh. Well, that's how easy thing, it though. is to. Some people take the whole thing apart. Yep. Yeah. All you need is that little gummy thing right there, and then it just clicks right in. Try to start the car. So it's not starting. Thank you, Patty's dead. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks good with the red interior, to be honest. Blue wouldn't really match. It'd be too much going on. Yep. All right, let's try to wire this damn steering wheel in. Yeah, I think I'm. The freaking new I think we have to take that shit off the bottom. Yeah. The cover. new M2s come with the red button already. Yeah, I know. 
I'm, I mean, all, almost all the new cars come with the red one. I'm gonna get this bottom kick panel out of here because I believe we have to tap into a wire down here and also plug into the OBD. So let me get that off real quick and then I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, it's already dark out, but me and Greg have been testing the steering wheel and like getting it all wired up and stuff just to see if it works and it does. So now we just gotta officially wire it in there. I got the module all plugged in. We just have to basically stuff this up in here somehow but right now we are working on wiring up the steering wheel so it has power only when you turn the accessory mode on so only when you turn the key on then it gets power so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do next and we'll get back to you guys when we're done all right guys so we went ahead and wired it up as you can tell this right here is tapped into this red wire this is the 12 volt wire right here for these leds so that's all ready to go now it's just a matter of throwing it back into the car I also went ahead and put this kick panel back in here and this is how the new OBD sits because this is just a new connection that comes out from that module so yeah that's how I was gonna say I can't really mount it anywhere so this is just how it's gonna have to be from now on All right guys, we just got it all installed. This is how it looks in the car. I'll probably give you guys a better look at it tomorrow, but right now you'll see the lights and everything better. As you can tell, when you hit the gas, the RPM gauges just go up. That last light is red for when you hit the the red line, so but we're not gonna red. Line. Yeah, we're not gonna red line it right now. It's late anyway. But the buttons look sick. Let me show them yep. that button. Buttons look good. The push to start button is red as well. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's red as well to match the M1 and M2 buttons. Should we go drive it, test out the light real quick, and come back? Let's go. All right, we're gonna go ahead, go for a little drive, and test these lights out. Yeah, this feels hella different. Yeah, definitely. It's almost like driving a different fucking car. <laughs> Now I'm gonna have to have clean hands every single time. Yeah, it's fucking leather, bro. It'll clean off hella easy. Just the shitty part is you're gonna get the plastic screen dirty all the time. Yeah, it's gonna year? be yeah, it yeah. smudges everywhere. So we set the RPM to be at what was it? Third, so it 2500. Starts, yeah, 2500. So the light starts at 2500. And red lines at 7000. Yeah, it. The car itself red lines at 7500, but we turned red line to 7000 on the gauge up here. That's fucking sick. Go to that PSI one. Oh yeah. So right now, we're about to check the PSI one and see how it is. So we're at negative boost right yeah, now. Yeah, we're at negative 1.88 PSI right now. <laughs> Good. Does the flat bottom feel weird? It does when you're turning. Yeah, you get used to it. But it looks good. Let's do a little pull. But it's working. Yep. Yep, this was working. Yeah, I think it went up to 21. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got back. That's it for today. I'll give you guys a better look at the steering wheel tomorrow. Alright guys, today is a new day. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the steering wheel looks like during the day so you can get a better look at it. Alright guys, this is what the steering wheel looks like during the day. Look how beautiful it looks. I kind of regret not going with the Alcantara, but this leather will definitely last way longer than the Alcantara. But other than that, the carbon fiber, like the weave and everything is really nice. Like especially this weave on this middle piece matches with the weave on the steering wheel. Just this middle piece is like $200. Like if you were to buy it separately, but I bought it all together. But yeah, the new buttons are looking really good. Somewhat matching the interior. I'm loving like this flat bottom steering wheel. It just makes a huge difference. 
As you can tell right now, it shows the temperature on this little digital gauge. I'm gonna try to get it to focus real quick. Once I hit this little side button right here, it changes. So that's coolant temp, oil temp at the bottom. It's running kind of hot right now. This is engine load, so how much percentage of load is going on your engine. This is boost PSI, so once I hit it, that should go up. Like once you're driving, it, that, that will go up. This is gas percentage, like how much you have left in your tank. I don't know exactly what this is, where it says zero mile don't understand what that is this is battery voltage I believe that says the bottom one is what gear you're in so try to put it in first nope ah, I'll figure that out later I don't get what that bottom one is that's throttle position and then this is like check engine how many errors there are so that's zero this is throttle so once I hit the gas so once I hit the gas that should go up little by little I don't understand what that is to be honest this one is RPMs, the bottom one is how many miles per hour, like if you're driving, and yeah, back to temp. So yeah, that's basically what it is. I usually leave it on the RPM and mile per hour right there. I went ahead and changed these LED colors to, I believe I did four blue. Let's check it real quick. So one, two, three. Yeah, four blue, and then the last one is red right here. Once you get to red line, this last one will light up red and then it'll all start like blinking as well i don't know if i showed you guys that yesterday but yeah that's what it looks like you can mess with the colors you can put a whole bunch of different colors but i think blue works the best to be honest i was gonna put green which i might change it change it up and put it to green instead of blue but we'll see later on but yeah this is what it looks like i got a really good deal on it and i'm completely happy with it but yeah that's basically it for the new steering wheel let me know what you guys think you guys think it matches the interior well or no? But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was a quick little video, but I thought I'd get it out there for you guys. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.